One of the most beautiful symbols of the prepared mind or the awakened mind or the awakened man is the peacock. Yes, there's a Christian image and there's a Yazidi image and there's a, a Hindu image and there's this, this imagery of the peacock. And the peacock is a symbol of the spiritual adept, of the master, of the prepared mind, of the awakened mind, the mind that can be folded and linear like the peacock's tail, but then can fan out and be multidimensional if need be. And of course, there's an eye on every feather. So the peacock can be linear, or it can fan out and be completely multidimensional. And that's really how we want our minds. We want our minds to be able to be in the material world and think linearly. That's actually a very, very, it's very important to be able to reduce information to the core of what it is. It's very important to be able to perceive linear time. It's not about the material plane being perverted fundamentally. It's not about reductionism being bad. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's, it's to be Luciferian is to never reduce anything. So it's about balance, really. And the peacock represents that perfect balance of being able to shift gears into that linear consciousness when the tail is structured and kind of folded and then come alive. Comes alive. And it, it can fan out and it goes into all the different dimensions. And that's the awakened man. That's the master. That's the awakened human. There is certain occult information that a linear mind will not understand. Only through the development of kundalini, meditation, and purification will the mind begin to clear and be restored to its multidimensional nature. That's it. So we have to understand that our minds are different. A psychic mind is different. Um, and we need to understand that you can think multidimensionally. You can think linearly. These are different types of intelligence, different, different ways of perceiving information. And to be awakened is to be able to hold a multidimensional idea, a multidimensional concept, like we're going to get into today, and not collapse it into the 3D plane, but to be able to simultaneously hold things even if they're contradicting and to not want to reduce it. We have to, we have to leave the desire to reduce everything, to materialize everything behind. And we have to understand that new DNA awakens and new paradigms develop when we can hold two opposing things or things that feel like they're opposing in our mind and our consciousness does an incredible thing, it will fill in the gap for us. If we don't immediately try to reduce, and by the way, often when we reduce, it's to control. But if we don't immediately try to reduce an esoteric concept and we let these disagreeing parts of us sit together and we can be still, what happens is they begin to uh, work together in a certain way where a greater truth is realized. So when we reduce things into matter, when we become overly reductionist, we stop our mind from pinging on opposing things and rewriting a script for us. Or we stop our mind from integration. We stop our mind from developing multidimensional. Planetary spheres are our original language. The planets and the stars are our original language. They're the language of information. And they contain the purest truth, purer than any psychic you will ever find. Anything spoken will always be broken down to a way that is no longer in its true form. And that's why we were never supposed to name what God is or never speak the name. Once we speak the name, it's already degenerated into a certain perspective that may not serve you. So we need to learn the language of the stars again. 
We need to learn the language of the spheres now and again. We need to remember it because it is our original language. And if we can understand how to read the resonance of the stars and the resonances of the spheres, we will remember who we are and we will speak a language that we have forgotten. But it is the greatest truth we will ever know. And no one will be able to take that from us. And this consciousness is known as 5D consciousness. And it is the objective consciousness. It is the all-encompassing consciousness. And we are moving into that.